Hello everyone for Channel 6 TV Community Focus. I'm Dennis George. We've all heard stories of people who need an organ transplant. They're on a list for months, sometimes years, and sometimes they don't get the transplant in time and they pass away. There's a group in Kentucky that over the years has been trying to change that and get more people to become organ donors, and that's the Kentucky Circuit Clerks Association, and we're joined today by the Marion County Circuit Clerk, Kim May, and okay. Kim, thanks for taking time out of your busy day to talk to us about this. You're welcome. Um, the Trust for Life started back in 1992, and, and it's not something that just didn't happen. Uh, you're tell, you were telling me the story of kind of one clerk who kind of took it uh, as yes, a mission. The clerk, Circuit Clerk, he had a friend whose daughter passed away. She was on the list forever, and he just wanted to do something that would help. That's where it started. And they just kept talking about it and it evolved into the Circuit Clerks Association. You know, Trust for Life is what it's called. Okay, and so April is Organ, organ Donor Donate, Month yes. in Kentucky. I've been having trouble getting that out <laughs> even when I was yes. practicing before. <laughs> but this is a time, I guess, that the clerks concentrate or try to get the word out because you're, you're accepting those every year. Right. Uh, we had a cookout last week to raise money. You know, we just used this month to promote more than we usually do to raise money for the, the trust, yes. Okay, and so over the years the Clerk Association has collected a lot of money, you said. What does that money, or tell us how much money they've collected and then what that money goes for. Well, they've collected over seven million since 1992. It's to it's for promote uh, promotion, you know, with the billboards and and you'll see John Calipari do radio yeah. ads and all these celebrities you know, on board and they do ads and it's just to promote organ donation. Okay, so let's kind of walk through the process. Okay, uh, you guys are the are one place that if someone wants to become an organ donor, they can do it. So. I come in to get my driver's license renewed or a, a first time driver, uh, yes. driver comes right. in. So walk them through the process. Well, you come up to renew or get your first time license and uh, it, it actually it prompts us. We are obligated by state law to ask this question and it comes up, do you want to donate a dollar to the Kentucky Organ Donor Program? And they'll either say yes or no. The next question says, would you like to have your name placed on the organ donor registry? So you have to put in a yes or a no before you can go any further. And now, since 2013, instead of that little orange dot you used to put on yours, it'll automatically print an organ donation little uh, red and blue emblem on there. So. All right, so I know in a release earlier that Kentucky does better than the national average right. as far as people registering to become donors. Right. Uh, I think the state average is over 50%. Right. You're close here in Marion, Marion County, County, but not quite there. Let's talk about that. Point, we're 47.3 percent registered organ. We're, we're higher than the state average as far as the dollar donation. Right. We're 62 percent, but we're at 47.3, and our goal is to get to 50 percent. Okay, so you're telling people if you're going to come in and register to renew or get a new license, you're asking them to donate right. to, or to sign right. on as a donor as, as well. As an organ donor, yes. Um, you know, we hear those cases where someone gets an organ transplant and it prolongs their life and there I think there was a story here years ago where a Marion County man was killed in an automobile accident and if memory serves correct by coincidence some of those organs or one of those organs went to another Marion County man to to help him um, talk a little bit I think I know you, you have a little cheat sheet for us here that we both can use and, <laughs> but there's some myths sometime about becoming organ donors well, it, right. Some people say it's against their religion. I, there's not. I haven't seen where any religion, you know, comes out to say it's not, you know, it's part of their religion. And uh, any age can donate. It doesn't matter how old you are. There, it doesn't have any kind of limit on your age. You know, it's up to the doctors when you get to that point whether or not it's viable. And uh, so you can don't eliminate. You know, don't eliminate yourself just because you don't feel like you're young enough or you're healthy enough because if they don't use some part, of, you know, some organ, they can use something else like skin or cornea or, or something. So, you know, there's no age limit whatsoever. And it doesn't cost the family anything to donate. People think they have to be charged for this or whatever, but there's no charge for that. So, and one person can save up to eight lives. So it's, it's very important. Well, when, when I look at one other note here that last year, we have all these people who have signed on to give, right. and I guess for one reason or another, maybe something happened they were not able to, and 
only 100 Kentuckians out of all that number gave, but then you're saying there's a lot more Kentuckians in need of the transplant. Right. You're, you're a lot more likely to need an organ transplant than you are to become a donor because there's so much criteria and I don't even understand it all. You know, medically, you have to meet a match, you have to die, you know, you have to keep your organs, uh, you know, you have to be close to a hospital almost, and there's so many different things. So it just puts you on the list that you may possibly end up helping somebody one day. And, and like I said, only um, you're, you're likely to need it more and more than you are to give one, but you know, it just, it, it's a possibility. Do, do you get a lot of questions when people come yes. in? Are they un what, what are the typical well, questions you know, it, other it, than maybe just, what's in the uh, midst? Some people already have their mind made up. You know, it's just, it's just a matter of promotion and, and not understanding. You know, I think they, and of course, like people not doing their wheels. They don't want to think about death. They don't want to think about that kind of stuff. So they just, when you ask them sometimes, they just kind of almost freak out. Like, oh my gosh, like they need to think about it. But, you know, they just, there's just not enough. We need to promote more, you know, more education and you know, just put your name on the list and, and probably nothing will ever come of it because you have to be so many different steps, but it could, you know, you could help somebody. Well, I guess it's similar. We, we read about someone who has a limb or a finger severed and, and everything has to work right. You get it in the cooler. You right. hear about taking a cooler and they can attach it back, maybe. You know, yeah. it just depends. You know, it just, every situation is different. So. All right, from a demographic standpoint, and, and maybe you can't do this off the top of your head, are young people more apt to do it? Older people? I think Talk about that. The young people are, you know, older people, it's just a different generation, different social media, you know, you just, it's just different. You know, uh, most of the time, if somebody has been touched by it, they're so apt to do it. You know, they, that's, that's the one who are so passionate about it. But there's some people that they just don't want to, you know, you ask them, and we're not supposed to. We ask, if they say no, I, I'm saying, well, you should. You know, I, I, I just can't do that. You know, we're not supposed to do that. We ask as nicely as we can, and if they do, that's wonderful. We thank them, and if they don't, we have a pamphlet there. So, well, if you're thinking about it, you know, if they're kind of on the fence, we have a pamphlet here. Just come look at that and read that. Then you can go online and sign up. Okay, that, 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 we were talking. Want to bring that up because, uh, you know, you only get your driver's license renewed every four years. Yes. Okay, so. There may come a time that you're touched by something like this, or you, right. you know of someone something who needs it. Something happens in your life that makes you more aware of what's going so on. So outside so. that one time every four years that I come in to get my driver's license renewed, you said there is a website that people yes, can go to? Uh, you know, you go to Kentucky Trust for Life. That's easy to remember, and it'll lead you to the organ donation. If you want to join the registry, it's something that pops right up. And you just put, you know, you put your name in, you're, and... Uh, some other information about yourself, and there you are, you're on the registry. Okay, so you don't have to wait right. until you get your driver's license renewed. You said it's the Kentucky, Kentucky Trust, Trust for, for Life. Life. Just type that into Google and it'll bring you right up where you need to go. Okay, you can do it now. If you got your driver's license renewed last week, you can go in there and you, you thought last week that maybe you didn't want to become an organ donor, but maybe you've, you've heard Kim's uh, low-key, passionate plea to uh, <laughs> to do it, or maybe you've read something, so you can still go on uh, line and do that. Uh, you, you're saying that here in Marion County, 47.3% of the people. Are registered. Does that go up, down? It's been gradually building the whole time. Okay. Yeah, we're, you know, we're striving for 50%, and then of course after you get there, we're gonna strive for 60%, but right now we're, it's gone up quite a bit over the last few years, and it keeps getting a little bit better every year. All right, do you know how many, uh, uh, people in the, in, in, in the county have driver's license? Mm. Top of your head, just not a ballpark? Really. No, not really. Um, see, we do them, we do three or four hundred every month. Okay. So it's quite a few. All right, so basically we need three more percentage points. Yes, right. So you're challenging it people, but by, by the end, right. by, we don't want to be sitting here this time next year and still be at less at 47, than 47. Right. Okay. We want to be. So we need 2.7% uh, of, of Marion Countyans who are not uh, who who have driver's license and are not uh, registered organ donors? Next time come in that you come in, get your license renewed, agree to do it, or go to uh, Kentucky Trust for Life and go through the steps and become an old organ donor. So when we're here next year, right. we hope we're at fifty percent. Yes, that's our goal. Okay. We'll see it that way. All right. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. your time, and, and you. hopefully some of you've gotten the message and maybe touched a little bit by it, and you'll sign up to be an organ donor. Uh, either online or when you renew your license. For Channel 6 TV Community Focus, I'm Dennis George.